taken them out from that mostly by force and transformed these innocent children to be most dangerous terrorists. Here further we, while carrying out studies, we realize for a person to be a balanced person, his heart, uh, sorry, here, head, no, brain, no, sir? So, uh, uh, brain, then the uh, heart and the limbs, all three things should be synchronized, balanced well. As long as your heart is open, you will never become an extremist. This is a fact, sir. So, this, what Prabhakaran did, knowing this actually, the psychological aspect, spiritual aspect, the vocational uh, abilities, uh, these three things uh, together when you put that. So it has to be balanced. Unless, otherwise you won't become a balanced person. You can, yourself can test, and doctor was coming out with some good uh, theories to do that. So, and uh, Prabhakaran knew this, and what he did, he locked the heart of these people, and use only the mind and the limbs to achieve his objectives. So we realized this later. So what we did, we took them as soldiers. When we get lost in the jungle, sir, we don't start doing research and finding the methodology of coming back. We have a simple system, put uh, our compass into back bearing and come back. Like that, uh, so we thought here, the best form, he has taken these uh, innocent people on a path, given some ideological inputs, and we started bringing them back. What we did first thing, actually we asked international community and various people to give us money, it was, it, but it was not coming properly, so we had to develop some low-cost system. Thereby, we thought, okay, and we unlocked the hearts, the locked heart, we unlocked those hearts, we realized it was a huge vacuum there. Then, we got professionals, respected people in the society, educationists, academics, religious leaders, and started filling that vacuum with good values, family values, national values, comradeship, values of a nation to being together, and so on. And value of uh, comradeship, friendship, and everything. There was a huge vacuum. We fill that vacuum with those very good values. Then we realize, when the children were going through this process, and all what their mind was full with those uh, hatred, uh, anger, and various ideologies, separatist ideology, put by the uh, Prabhakaran and the crowd. So we realize when these things were inserted into their hearts, and things which were filled in their mind were getting evaporated. There was a vacuum created there as well. So we got the professionals once again and started filling that with giving them the right knowledge to live in the society, right knowledge to understand the problems that are prevailing in a normal society. So that then also developed their various skills which are suitable to live in the society. So here, this was a basic process actually we carried out in rehabilitating these people. So, when we achieved this, we realized uh, the people were very well motivated, they were happy, and thereafter, these are the numbers that we had. We had 12,000, and already now we have 10,973 being reintegrated into the society. At the point of reintegration, once again, we faced with another problem. The society was not properly accepting these people. Because uh, due to obvious reason, these people have been carrying out many antisocial activities in the past, and their children have been uh, pulled out by force into the organization, things like that. So as a result, people were rejecting the ex-combatants. So that was not a good story. Thereby, we had to go to the society. We had to speak to the different segment of the society. We carried out various awareness programs. We took the people together and put them to different segments and started educating those people uh, with the system that we are following. So that became once again success, a good success. So these two things linked together. So thereafter we uh, sent these people into the society, reintegrated them. Before reintegration, our, our, our professionals were, uh, were supervising these or checking these people. 
So then when they realized they were okay, and again reconfirmatory tests were conducted. And once they were they really they were happy and people were reintegrated. That is how the whole system works. And the success story, if you look at, so these are children, and 54% went through vocational, and 46% went through uh, formal education, and it was a real success. And large number of children who went through formal education uh, got into the universities and higher education institutes. Uh, you know, in, we have a fair number of doctors, now lawyers, engineers, and various, uh, they are following various uh, academic courses now in the universities. And uh, recently we have got some people into the national teams as sportsmen and women also. So these are all achievements of the rehabilitation process. <clears throat> so finally, what is the next objective of the government or the challenge of the government to make sure that these people will continue to be uh, disciplined people. Uh, for that, the government has created an organization and they are continue to monitor these people and give the, uh, the support required for these people to be disciplined and worthwhile citizen in the society. This was basically our objective. And we achieved with success. We got the professional output from, uh, output from international organization to do this, and various local organization, universities, religious, everybody that we could use to achieve our objective, we use in achieving. And we realize now is a real success story. There are many uh, organizations, individuals, universities have carried out uh, the uh, research to see the re radicalization and de radicalization and so on. And we have seen very positive results, ladies and gentlemen. And hope this will assist us in achieving national security. If this 12, 13,000 people, if they are going to, they are really going to be worthwhile citizens, as a result, there will not be. Uh, any chance of anybody from outside or within to develop again uh, a, a system like what we had gone through a conflict. So with this, I thank you all of you, and thank you very much. Please.